this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X for more Super Tentacle Hentai Porn! Everyone, quick! A third foot! Can I have a boss that doesn't have tentacles? Huh, game? This game's obsessed with these things. Where did this guy come from? How does Sin appear in all these, like, buildings or whatever we deal with? I don't know. But anyway, okay, so first things first, let's cheer up. Cheer up, Yuna! Well, actually, Yuna doesn't need it, but... Actually, what I want to do is summon Valifor with his overdrive already fully charged up. And this will help me take out the tentacles there. And overkill them while we're at it, too. So, let's do that. It'll hit all of them, so don't worry about it. You don't... It's not like the last boss fight. Yeah, you remember the last... It killed the tentacles. Take my word for it, viewers. Let's see what we got here now. Okay, so... We... He has... Uh, 3,000 HP... And you need to deal 900 damage with the finishing blow in order to overkill him. That's one reason why I wanted to have Lulu's overdrive gauge filled, so I can use that for the boss fight. I generally like to go out of my way to overkill bosses, because, well, it's actually useful to do so. They, they give a lot more AP than, say, your average random monster. So, first things first, let's get everyone their participation credit. And one other thing I just want to warn you viewers about, the next few episodes are going to have probably significant adult language. Some of you have gotten the opinion that I hate this game, and the upcoming scenes are why. I almost said, you know what, screw this, I'm not going to do this game for an LP because I just hate this part of the game. Once you get through the next town, it's all uphill from there, so don't worry about it. But I'm probably going to go off um, the game here. So, just a fair warning, viewers. If you don't like adult language or you have young children who you don't want to hear adult language from, well, you probably sh shouldn't... Uh, wait, wait until I get done with Luca. Okay, uh, got that. Let's get Lulu back. Uh-oh. Please don't do something to Lulu. That would be annoying. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's use Fire Fury! Four Wheels of Fury! No, no, just Fire Fury. Hey, hey, all right, I got eight, not bad. It's kind of hard to tell a strategy for doing uh, Lulu's overdrives. What I do is I put the... Uh, the stick, or the R3 button, or whatever you call that thing, uh, I put it, like, somewhere on, like, the palm of my hand, where I can sort of get it into a groove there, and then it'll kind of stay in place as I rotate it over and over and over again really, really fast. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope to break you in a little slower. B being a guardian's tiring. You handle yourself pretty well. You got talent. Well, I was a star player that Xanar so can date. what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. All the way up here? You're alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Wanda so, told me I had talent wouldn't it be a good battle, idea to hold on to those I things? I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. We could just lure him away constantly. Just kite him across the sphere. But anyway, all right, yeah, so you overkill him, you get a whole bunch of ability spheres, which I really wanted to get from him. So, oh, oh, yeah, we got uh, more sphere grip. Well, you know what, I'll, I'll save it for later, because uh, I'm going to get more sphere or ability points huh. on the way back, or the return trip. So I'll do the sphere grid stuff, stuff all at once. Try so, and save uh, a little time there. You got fiends and Xena can too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. What uh, do you mean by that? Hey, since one of you believe me about Xanarkin anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time. 
like a thousand years through time. And keep dreaming, Waka. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? It is. You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No mm. matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No I one can. can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. He and there's can. no replacement for Lord Braska either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. What is your problem, Lulu? I mean, okay, I know that she... I know what her problem is, having played this game before, but why does she have to be a total bitch to Waka like that? Jesus Waka, Christ! Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I mean, I if she sure wanted to... It. If well, she wanted to get away was, from Chapu's memory, business, that's for don't sure. fucking live that's in the village where he grew up in! I mean, come on! Or it's like, oh, but she has to stay there for Yuna or something like that. Well, then you only have yourself to blame. Don't dump your bad attitude on someone else. God! And this is only the first time this happens, too. So... <sighs> All right, we made it. I remember a quote I heard once. There's a difference between justification and motivation. I know why Lulu is motivated to be a total bitch to Waka and everyone else, but that doesn't justify it. And not to mention, this is a video game. I came here to escape reality. Pray? Who needs to pray? The Luka goers always win. Are you guys? Oh yeah. Uh, the guardians. Why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal? I mean, this as we all know, Litball players make the best, best guardians. Again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. It why will be this time. Showing up? I'm gonna kick this your ass. We play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. How? See you in the finals. How do you get into Blitzball? I mean, there's, at least we'll to my knowledge, to. one stadium in the world. You know that team? I mean, it's not like basketball where you Down. could just play a there's pickup a game or something. But Sir Jack was a kind and gentle I mean, You need man. some pretty serious well, tech to play Jack. Blitzball. Uh, Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. Nah. Keeping him what? Now nah, you're not gonna tell us, are you? Okay, well there's no treasure in uh, this area, or in the side rooms. I don't think there is. But anyway, let's head on up here. Do the cloister. Yeah, I hate those Luka goers too, but uh, I'm gonna kick their ass. I'm pretty good at blitzball. Lord O'Holland. Guide our feet. For those playing this game for the first time, don't let the first game of Blitzball discourage you. That is not the reason why I hate this part of the game. I mean, I can handle the first game of Blitzball just fine. In fact, I like the game itself. Summoner, At least in this game, anyway. I heard the next game's not so good, but... But this one I'm Yuna, pretty good at. From the Isle of Besaid. I, I don't know if I'd say I'm an expert, but Donna. I can get the job done. So your prima donna, Nebraska's daughter. That's yeah, pretty much. A name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians. <laughs> my, what a rabble! Well, you only got As one I guardian. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I was thinking I, I wanted to have a black mage guardian. to deal with flans, which you cannot. Well, I guess she could summon someone, but... I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I can trust more people than you. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Especially when I don't have to Even pay more them. Even so than being my father's daughter. Of course, 
I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You or I could bitch you slap you. We're leaving. What is her problem anyway? Why is everyone in Spira like an asshole here? <sighs> I'm surrounded by assholes. Guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone I mean, okay, Sin is life. destroying the world. I guess I, I would wondered, put people in a, a, a bad mood, but... What I mean, there's smiling about some it? decent people around here. I mean, heck, they make Titus look like a choir boy. But let's go on up to the cloister, then. All right, let's do this the puzzle. Is below. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't know what Donna's problem is. I, I don't know. Is she First, jealous of Yuna or Kamari, something? Or Waka, trying to ready? rub something in her face? I, I don't know. Strength, everyone. I mean, at least Lulu has a motivation. I don't like it. No. But nah. she has something, at least. Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Oh. Oh, okay. um, we gotta go through a ceremony we'll or something. Be back as soon as we can, okay? Sounds like a plan. But yeah, this is oh, something sure. that I soon. don't like, like th when they soon. do in I video bet. games, where they create assholes in the game so that way they have room for character development or, or something like that. And it's like, why, why do they have to do that? Why can't you just make characters be likable? Oh, but then they wouldn't change over the course of the game. Well, I wouldn't get frustrated with the game until. I get to that point. Where's Yuna? Then why are you? I mean, if you here? write your story, I mean, you say, okay, hey, so I'm not a guardian, so I'm not they have to go in, right? So so and so not is an say? asshole because they were abused as a child, hey, or their boyfriend died, or something or yeah, other, whatever. Up. But if you write your story so that it it gives someone a legitimate reason a to make to become an asshole, then you should write your story differently. Huh? Because all that's going to do is create annoying characters and piss people off. This is bad. Really bad. I don't care if they have a legitimate reason to be pissed off. I, I come to video games to escape reality, to escape the assholes Only in real life. Allowed. I'm sure no guardian. So, let's do this cloister then. Well, It'll be a nice respite too late from now. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to get that off my chest, viewers. Oh, there'll be more assholes in the next few episodes, worry not. But anyway, okay, so we gotta go up here. Let's grab that burning pillar there. It won't set me on fire. Okay, let's see, there's a little hole in the door there, so let's put that there. Burn the door down. Burn this place to the ground. Why not? And take it back. How did everyone already get through all these puzzles? I mean, does this just, like, magically reset itself or something? Nah, I don't know. But anyway, we want to put the sphere up here then. I think. Do that. And it makes a little glyph appear. Let's uh, take the sphere back so we can actually touch the glyph eventually. And you know what? Let's put this over here for the time being. Kind of throw it away like a bank or something like that. Then we go up here, touch the glyph. And open the door. Okay, let's see. Then we want... Oh, wait, no, no, no. We want to go up here. Go up here. Get the Kilika Sphere. And then we're going to go back and put that into the west wall. Because I have nowhere else to put it. Okay, so we got that. The Kilika Sphere. Ah, okay, we need the Glyph Sphere now. So grab that one. And now we want to put that where we had the old Kilika Sphere. That uh, flashing tile there, I think, would reset where the 
pillar is if you like push it into a corner by accident or something. Okay, well we're mostly done with this part right now, but well, I still want to get that destruction sphere. It's in the room there actually, but uh, let's see. Okay, so we got that. Ah, okay, we need a Kilka Sphere. Either one will do, doesn't matter. If I can do that. Got it. Set your ass on fire. Push this one up there, up to the flashing tile, if I can. Ah, uh, block puzzles. I wonder if they changed the camera angles at all in this version compared to the PS2 version. Because I don't remember being able to see the door that clearly as you're pushing the pedestal into this room. Not that it's a big deal, but... It is nice if they did do that. I don't know, it just kind of seems like it. Okay, so we got that one there. Then we need to go down below, er, yeah, yeah, yeah. We go down here, pick up the new Kilika Sphere. Ah, uh, let's see, okay, so we gotta push, put this one back here. And now we gotta get that Destruction Sphere from the room that we opened up. And then we're gonna put this one down here, and that should do it. Ha! And for doing that, we get the red armlet, which is a piece of armor for Kamari. It has fire, ice, and lightning ward. I think that's what they're called. Uh, not very good, though. I'm going to sell it for money, because you can get, like, over three grand for it. And money is kind of hard to get early on. Reminds me of another game. Not that money is really a big deal in this game. I mean, yeah, there's times when you buy equipment, but generally, you're going to get most of your stuff from stealing or whatnot. All right, made it. I know I wasn't supposed to come down here and... Solve all these puzzles and invade your territory and all this, but. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle head man. They made me solve all these you puzzles will be for the them. One to suffer the consequences. What kind of consequences? Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. Uh, Luke? The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Hmm. Oh. I wonder what's going on in there, anyway. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. <gasps> uh oh. Okay, never Just mind. Me. So what's in there, anyway? The faith, remember? Oh, yeah. That thing, right. What is a faith, anyway? The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Summoners? Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? I'd do that. Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. Oh, that's not so but good. But when a summoner I'd rather deal with the Bailey curse. The souls of the faith emerge once again. It has its upside. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? Apparently. So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all Sleeping. her heart for a way to defeat sin. And praying. Bring some food in there if it's gonna take her like a day to do all this stuff. Like last time. Oh, that didn't take long. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. 
Where is that music coming from anyway? It was proof that and were connected. Are people Somehow, constantly singing that at song? At least to me or? it was. Uh, Maybe that's why loudspeakers suddenly here? I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. I guess it's the faith singing or something? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh well, not that it's a big deal. Well, okay, we're done here. We got a new Aeon, Ifrit. One thing I'm going to do uh, off screen is I'm going to recharge my Aeon's overdrives. Just boost them over and over and over and over again, and you'll be fine. But yeah, it's always a good idea to keep your Aeon's on overdrive, or their overdrive gauges full, because it'll make it a lot easier to uh, overkill bosses. That's usually what I like to use them for. Sometimes they're useful in random battles, but mm, not so much. Well, we got Wonder Years format. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. Suppose it's better than Sepia Tones. Well, you did kind of live there, like, they all your life. they inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. I'm just... Keep your feelings bottled up, Titus. That's the way. Stay the course. Are... are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? At first, I thought she said, what do you want me to do? Ah! Now, some people don't like Titus for being whiny and loud and all that, and I can understand that a little bit. But hey, compared to the other assholes during this part of the game, I mean, he's far less annoying to me than a lot of the other characters here that we're going to be meeting next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.